Guess what day it is? Da 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 da. Bumper day. <laughs> Probably not using that. <laughs> Welcome back to episode 14 of Ambition Strikes. In this episode, we head to Buckstop Truckwear and get our aluminum bumper installed before heading north to Idaho. We're Riley and Courtney Casey. Driven by a desire to learn new skills and challenge ourselves, we spent three months building our version of the ultimate expedition vehicle. With the build coming to an end, it's time to hit the road and spend every second we can exploring, learning new skills, and sharing our passion for building things. So buckle up and follow along because this is Ambition Strikes. All right, you guys, today is the day. This is something we have been really excited about and has been in the works for a while now. We're headed to Buck Stop in Prineville, Oregon to pick up a new aluminum front bumper. Woo! With hundreds of combinations, Buckstop can make you whatever bumper your heart desires. Wait. One, two, three doors. So I'm just going to walk you guys through the production line here. A CNC laser. They go straight from laser. Over to forming and then off to get welded. There is no inventory at Buck Stop. They're a super lean operation, and I love it. So once they come over from, the, from forming, they're stacked up as a kit. This is one bumper right here in the stack, and it's gonna come over to a weld booth. It's gonna get welded out, and as I su suspected, there's a lot of grinding that happens around here. So each welder here builds an entire bumper start to finish, including grinding. Whole bunch of bumpers fresh out of powder coat. They're so busy around here, they even had to make, bring pallet making in house. They've got just about every option you could imagine here for both front and rear bumpers. Every product that comes out of this shop is custom made for you. It's our new two-stage latch system, super solid. One-hand operation. For all you Tacoma guys, they do have a Tacoma bumper coming shortly. Hey, this is Dorian Hartfield with Buckstop Truckwear. We're here today with Ambition Strikes to put the finishing touches on their ultimate Overland Dodge Ram 3500. We don't mind working on the camper on the road, but they offered to install it for us and we are not going to say no. Riley is very excited. So this is Buckstop's aluminum bumper and as you can see, it's really not that heavy. I'm really curious to see what it weighs versus the original one. The wings are quarter, but we have this extra return down here that isn't on the steel. That's the extra gusseting. Okay. And then the, all the mounting is steel. Oh, so yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's just yeah. bolted in sheer. There's How does it feel to not be working on our rig for the first time ever? So weird. I don't know what to do with my hands right now. <laughs> Notch is routed in. Oh, cool. And that's going to fit that little trim piece. Nice. Hmm. You can pre-mount the LED in here, run the wires through, and then this fascia fits in afterwards. Oh, nice. Has to get uglier before it gets prettier. So here's our old bumper. The new one is probably not quite twice as heavy. <laughs> This stock bumper is actually heavier than I was expecting. You guys, the bumper is on. Riley's pulling out right now. It looks so good. Oh, 
What do you think? Oh my goodness, that looks so good. So we chose to go with an aluminum bumper with cutouts for lights and a, a winch mount as well as a two inch hitch receiver on the front. The winch mounts down here inside the bumper, hidden away, tucked away and well protected, uh, but it's really easy to get to. All you have to do is flip up this door and you can access the controls for the winch. Having the two inch hitch receiver is gonna be awesome because it'll allow us to carry the bikes on the front or the rear of the truck, as well as any other options we might wanna add to the front or recovery points. We also opted to get the two tow hook options for this bumper so we can quickly hook up a tow strap or a shackle to it. The intercooler on these trucks is pretty exposed, but I like that this bumper is tall enough to protect the intercooler down here underneath. I'm sure you guys have noticed that the bumper is missing a few things. We're gonna be filling it with Baja Design lights, which we are super stoked about. We already ordered them and they should be here in a few weeks, so stay tuned for that. The other thing that's missing from this bumper is the winch. We actually haven't decided which winch to use yet, so if you guys have any opinions about that or recommendations, drop them in the comments below. We have had a wonderful time in Bend. We met some awesome YouTube followers and their daughters, Blake and Katie Bear, told us to go to the Dough Nut before we left town. And so Riley just came out with this box. I think I have a custard filled donut over here, which was highly recommended, so. And mine has bacon on it. Also might get lost and on the wrong side of the river again so crossing the railroad tracks open fire oh, i thought it said fries is way too appealing. <laughs> and he's not allowed to get wet because we're not giving him a bath and he's not sleeping in the camera wet. <laughs> probably time to start switching off into summer spring mode and all right we got some boxes we're gonna ship our skis home now we get to figure out how to package the boots but first we got to find a box where do you find boxes in the cardboard dumpster You can fit everything in there. Let's try it. Courtney's mom told me to pick out something just for me for my birthday. So I bought myself an RC car. My buddy Mikey has one of these and I've had a lot of fun playing with it. Now I have one of my own.
We want to give a huge thanks to Dorian and Tristan and everyone else at Buckstop that helped make this bumper possible. We are super stoked, extremely impressed with the quality of it and can't wait to put it to the test. If you're looking for a high quality USA made bumper, make sure to check out Buckstop and I'm sure they'll have what you need.